There are various ways to conduct video analysis in Analyzer Pro. The first one we'll explore is the analysis of recordings from static cameras or surveillance cameras that do not move. To do this, go to Modules, Video Analysis, and then Static Camera, CCTV. First, select a video from a static camera. Now, the original video is displayed. In the second step, specify the reference dimensions, either in the form of a square or a free form. In our case, we use a square. Now, enter the values. Below, the image is orthographically represented, but it is still distorted due to lens distortion. Clicking on correct lens distortion removes this distortion. After that, refine the selection accordingly. Now, we should have a nicely orthographically represented road below. You can zoom in this window and move it with the right or center mouse button. Only cars that are displayed there will be calculated. Click play. A machine learning algorithm now identifies various road users and assigns them IDs. Using the automatically determined frame length and the distance in pixels that the vehicle or pedestrian moves, you can calculate the speed. After clicking pause, you can select a corresponding ID. Now in red, we see the individually measured frames and in blue, a fit curve. If the vehicle or pedestrian is too small and not detected, you can reduce the square pixel count here, i.e. set the lower and upper limits. Now, only objects within this range are recognized. If you want to adjust the frames individually, you can specify individual frame lengths here. Finally, select an area of interest. You can also export the data as a CSV file. Now click Transfer, and the data will be transferred directly to Kinematics. Next, we deal with text from videos. Click on Modules, Video Analysis, and then OCR Data from Video. In some dashcams, text is displayed at the bottom. Let's now see where this occurs and what speed unit is represented. Here it says MPH, so we need to select MPH here as well. Now click Load. The video is analyzed accordingly and the speeds are entered here. The frame length is analyzed so that the different speeds have the correct time intervals. As soon as I press cancel, the chart shows me what values those are. Now we can select the polynomial degree accordingly. Then select the corresponding area and click transfer. And so we have the data back in kinematics. Finally, let's take a closer look at the dashcam module. Click on modules, video analysis, dashcam. This module is designed to automatically determine speeds from a dashcam video using machine learning. Select a video file here. The model needs the first 20 frames to adapt, meaning that for the first 20 frames, zero kilometers per hour are going to be displayed. Here, you can choose the appropriate AI model that must be tailored to the situation. Now, the current speeds are indicated here. The AI model does not require reference distances. The entire speed determination is based on optical flow. The current accuracy is indicated when selecting the model. With Cancel, you can end the process, select an area, and transfer it to kinematics. With this, I thank you for your attention and wish you a lot of enjoyment in practicing.